This is a review of my Allen 26 Brevier Black Face. It is black goat skin and leather lined. I um, got this on a trade. Always wanted one of these. As you can see, it does have a full yap, and I'll show you that. As you can see here, we have a full yap all the way around. She has a nice spine on her. You got Holy Bible. There is no raised hubs, they are tooled in these hubs. Very nice. Huh? And that, that gate skin is really nice, like a nice pebble grain to it. It is tooled around the edges, as you can see. Double tool line. But it sure, it's it's nice. It's and it's nice and thick too. You do have your three ribbons. They're not. I, they're actually a woven rib, ribbon. They're not like the, the normal Beresford ribbons they do. As you can see, there is three of them. I've got two tucked behind, and I'm using one. As you can see here. Uh, as you can see, there's a goat skin. You got the corners on that, aren't they nice? The corners are done so nicely on these. You got the gold. And then, oh, that's just a track I had in there. You got the blue end sheets. I see she is edge lined. Very nicely done. at the beginning first page as you can see down here it is a black face and India paper and it has the chain it has the chain references as well the licensing agreement that they have for the King James is printed in the Netherlands on acid free paper by by Youngblood Very nice paper too. These are the signs, the table, the table of signs used in the text. And here they are here. So this is a self-pronouncing Bible, and quite a self-pronouncing Bible at that as well. Got your abbreviation marks. Note, note, note on the references as well. If you want to freeze that and read through, through this, there you go. And we have your index for the Old and New Testament, and your first book. As you can see, they have all the marks on the on Genesis. And I like how they've got one. See, they've got one here. And I'll show you, like, if you go to, go to see the next, we'll go to Deuteronomy, the beginning of that. It's very thin paper, so... Back one. As you can see, it gives you the chapter headings here. Sorry, 54. No, 154, sorry. It's, um, I did trade it, but, but the person who had it didn't use it at all, so I'm still breaking this one in.
So yeah, we'll go back. I like the, the references in the in the center column are really nice and clear. Even though this is an, an 8 or 8.5 font, um, and the references in the middle, I'd say, would be maybe a 6, 6 to a 7. They are quite readable because it's so dark. As you can see. You can see a bit of the self-pronouncing here. I really like the self-pronouncing, so I know a lot of people oh, don't really like it, but yeah, I really like it. And of course, as in as in the Allen Bible, it is not red leather. But we'll go to Matthew. Oh, here, yeah, we'll, good good example of the self-pronouncing. People might think, oh, too many marks, and it's a bit um, too busy for them. But yeah, I love it. Um, I'm just going to go to Matthew for you, so you can see the beginning of Matthew. Yeah, I bent that page. <laughs> the New Testament. And here's your first page. It's really good if you want to pronounce the the words, pronounce the names properly. I find it really helpful and yeah, that's why I really like self-pronouncing. And being dyslexic too, it also helps me. Yeah. And we have a whole lot of information at the back, a whole lot of helps and encyclopedia part at the back and it's really nice a couple of blank pages here and here's the back it's got a, got a note about them it's got a illust um, for, what, these are the illustrations the list of illustrations in the book because there's quite a few pictures at the back here a summary of the contents and we get into it it's alphabetical order so so at the beginning at the beginning as usual you will have Aaron and, yeah, and it's not blurry the print is really crisp in this it's quite nice I haven't found any broken letters in the printing of it as there so it's really nice. It's consistent ink all the way through. And it is a dark print. Beautiful dark print. Got charts in here, a whole lot of charts. Let's find a couple of photos for you. They are photos in here. I went past what? No, oh, there's some here. See? It's a very classy Bible. It's only small, it's only a little hand size one. It's only a hand size. I'll get a ruler and measure it for you. Sorry about this. So it's about five by seven it is. And you've got a little bit extra for the yap. That was the text block I was measuring. So the yap on this is about three quarters. So and you do have your do you have your maps at the back and these are the same sort of maps I think that are in the long primer so, 
quite a few maps. There is no paper in the back to write on this. I mean, you've got a couple of cardstocks if you want to write on it, but there's no note paper in the back of this one. Just cardstock at the back. So just card stock at the back. But quite, quite a few sheets of it, so you can do your notes on there if you do if you'd like. And it's an Allen binding by Royal Youngblood, so so Youngblood actually did the binding on this as well. They did a really nice job. Hmm. So these are really nice Bibles, these I've always wanted a the black face because of the self-pronouncing. And because I like hand sized Bibles too, so. So, yeah. But that is a beautiful text. We'll have a good look. Alright, well, that's the end of my review, and thank you for watching, and God bless. Bye.